Dead by Daylight's been out since 2016, and it's now 2022, and in that time there's been many, many either overpowered or painful builds to go against. Instasaur Billy, Forever Freddy, Old Eerie Head Infantry Belt Huntress, but today we're going to focus on the current patch. I'm Filth, and these are my top 5 worst killer builds to go against. These are in no particular order. We're going to start with the Blight, with Alchemist Ring and Blighted Crow. The Blighted Crow makes you go faster with every single rush that you do, and the Alchemist Ring instantly refreshes your rushes if you get a lethal hit while in your rush power. This means you can cover great distances, hit a survivor, instantly have your power recovered, and go straight after them again, making it extremely unfun to go against. Chases can seem almost impossible to win, and if everybody's going down, nobody gets generators done, makes it a bad time. <laughs> Next up is the artist. The artist joined the game in 2021, and with her came the Pain Resonance Dead Man Switch meta. This was particularly unfun to go against on the artist because of her ability to push you off a generator with her crows. So she hooks a survivor and sends crows over to a generator. Pain Resonance Dead Man Switch combination blocks a generator. The game goes to a standstill if she's a decent artist and downing survivors regularly. Pair that with the artist's anti-loop ability causing everyone to hold W to stay alive. It just makes it a really boring game. Number 3, the Mother Daughter Ring on Spirit. Ever since Spirit got her add-on rework, the Mother Daughter Ring has been the most hated add-on. It makes you go 40% faster while in a phase. The downside being that you don't see scratch marks. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to matter, being as how fast you move in phase means you can cover great distances, and if you're listening, you can just land straight on survivors from across the map. Again, gen regression and strong gen stalling perks make this miserable to play against a survivor. Chases are hard, the game can go on for a while, People are sad. Next on the list is a tombstone piece with Michael Myers. Not to be confused with Judith's tombstone, with the tuft of hair, which takes a long time to fill up with stalk. But if you pair the tombstone piece with the J Myers memorial add-on, you can stalk into tier 3 really fast and murder someone out of the game, making it a 3v1, maybe even at 5 generators. Obviously the person who gets murdered immediately isn't going to be very happy with that outcome and the rest of the team are going to feel the pressure of a 3v1 unless you murder them off too. Either way it's safe to say survivors don't like this. And last but not least is Starstruck and Agitation Nurse. Nurse has always been the strongest killer in Dead by Daylight. Her teleporting ability allows her to completely ignore the normal game mechanics and some survivors never learn how to counter her and think just her in general is unfair to go against. Once you put Starstruck and Agitation on her, anyone in the terror radius when she picks up a survivor becomes exposed for 30 seconds. Agitation causes that terror radius to go wider and Nurse can just blink straight on top of anyone if she knows where they are. A lot of survivors just nope out of the game as soon as they realize what it is. As soon as they realize it's Nurse, let alone if it's Starstruck Agitation. Honourable mentions go to the Legion for their gameplay just being Mending Simulator and to the Cenobite for the Chain Hunt just being aggravating. But those are my top 5. Feel free to comment if you have any thoughts or inputs of your own. Maybe there's a build that you think should have made top 5. So like, subscribe and do the YouTube things. Thanks for watching. I'm so confused. I'm so confused how that didn't hit you. Yeah. <laughs>